Help. I need help. Base, would you please answer me? Are you there? Hello? Koval! Marit! I, I saw you a second ago. I think. Dragonfly, come in. Oh, my head is killing me. Ah, I don't know what I'm doing here. Or, or where I am exactly. Someone answer me, god damn it. <sighs> okay. Nothing's broken. I, I can walk. Where's everyone gone? Why is no one answering me? <laughs> oh, bollocks! I can't hear you anymore. My receiver worked for a moment, but... Now there's only silence. I have two solid hectobars in the tank. That's enough for several hours. Damn it, I've lost my beacon. Where is it? Like I thought, nothing. <laughs> I'm on my own. At least within a 50 meter radius. The beacon can't be detected either. There aren't many supplies, which would suggest a quick recce. Or was it just the end of the mission? Let's see if the past me hasn't failed the present me. And let's hope she took notes. Are we on Regis 3? Doesn't ring any bells. And my crew have no way to tell me. So I report that I have no recollection of this planet. The last thing I remember. Hang on. We've closed the research cycle. We, we were already in hibernation. Flying back. Is my blackout a side effect of metabolic depression? That would be bizarre. For some reason, our crew split into two groups. The first one set up camp. I wonder if I was with them. Or am I on my way there? Both groups landed in the same place. We take two landers to the surface. I don't usually do this. Maybe the first one broke. The first group explored the ocean with no biologist. It's weird. And the other one, just me, took a different route. Leading to... Right! I was heading straight to the camp. You must be somewhere near. Give me a sign! Send up a flare, the probe! Anything! Okay. I'm gonna head to the camp, but I'll be keeping an eye out for you. Landmarks. That has an interesting shape. Nice. I report that I have established my position. Time to hit the road. Dropped equipment. I must have hit the ground pretty hard. The metal detector. Dr. Gorski, you won't be pleased. More equipment. 
equipment to repair. The detector's dead. Guess I shouldn't just leave it like this. Broken or not. I'm in a canyon. Which doesn't make it easy to navigate. Oh, I hope the data's trustworthy and you're close by. I think I see our ship. You're not leaving without me, are you? Hmm. I think that's my rope. It didn't just fall out of the backpack, so apparently I didn't have time to collect it before I... Uh, fell. on the tracker. I assume it's no one from the crew, so perhaps it's my beacon. might be awake, but my brain is still in the fridge. I wouldn't be so sure, my dear. Clearly your sense of humor was first awake. Now, try to get up, slowly. Dr. Gorski doesn't look so well. How are you holding up, Gorski? Don't get up just yet. Is it really so hard for you to remember a couple of simple rules? I have to stretch my legs. They're numb. Hibernation will do that. Just sit for a while. Here, take it, and remember the third rule. Yes, I know. Stay hydrated. In small sips. Always the first one to get up. I don't know how you do it, Murray. It's a matter of habit. After so many cycles of cryogenic sleep, one either gets used to it or becomes a tortoise. Will you help me here? Sure, I'm coming. This is not our system. Has anyone noticed we're in the wrong place? Kovel, it's not a good time. Yasna, look for yourself. This is not the right planet. You shouldn't be walking yet. Kovel, could you stop it? I'm telling you, we woke up in the wrong place. Yes, we heard you. Enough of this, Yasna. Crew. Astrogator. Debating chamber in 15 minutes. Uh, this can't be good. Guess we'll find out. But first, here, hold on to it and remember. That's it. 
Look for me on your trackers. and extreme temperature changes may explain the extinction of local fauna and flora. But it's all just too idyllic. There's no dust in the air. The sky is clear. And the soil looks like laterite to me. Perhaps not highly fertile, but not entirely barren. On some planets, such storms last for several hundred days. I hope it's not one of them. to go. meters in a straight line I, I see you can you hear me I just need to get down from here oh well if it catches me so be it this suit will hold <sighs> the ground slopes Oh, steeply. The escarpment is about ten meters high. It looks like I could slide down. On second thoughts, maybe not. The last thing I need now is an injury. Out of the frying pan, into the fire. At least I can hook the rope here. I'm reporting that I'm starting my descent. I'll be at the bottom soon.
Visibility could be better. Maybe I should wait. Much closer to my destination. I must have walked for some time. But I don't remember it. Did, did I black out again? Closer to the camp. Find a place to land. I need to get back to Dragonfly as soon as possible. Go to the infirmary and do a full set of tests on myself. Heavy. The film is not inviting. Legs become too heavy. Hands become too weary. Down you go. Life is not that scary. I remember you, Regis Third Satellite. Astrogator, sir. Crew? Dr. Gorski, right on time. Any updates? We have a set of data from the near surface program. Oh, How's the activity? Zero, zero, and two. So, less than nothing. Atmosphere? Nitrogen, 78%. Argon, 2%. Carbon dioxide, zero. Methane, 4%. The rest is oxygen. Uh, wait, that's 16%. With oxygen concentration as such, there should be life. At least some microbes, and yet we have detected no traces. Yeah, we'll get to that later. Let's finish with the probe readings first. Air radioactivity? It's virtually zero. The word of paradise, the radioactivity. 
activity, no endospores, no bacteria, no mold, no viruses, nothing. Just the oxygen. If there were no living organisms on the continent, there shouldn't be this much of it. What if life develops on some other continents here? No, I doubt it. Insulation outside the equatorial zone is weak. You don't see how thick the polar ice caps were, don't you? I can guarantee a minimum of five miles of ice sheet, potentially six. Mm, that's true. There's more chance of something in the ocean. Some seaweed, algae... But why didn't life migrate to the land? Could be because of hard radiation. Mm, I don't think so. According to the probe readings, the ground activity is exceptionally low for this part of the galaxy. I wonder if some special kind of drought-intolerant evolution occurred here. And that would at least explain some of the abnormalities. Hmm. Anyway, we'll have to take a look under the water. First, it would be good to know what time frame. Marit, do you have the geological analysis? It's a bit too early for mature conclusions, but this planet looks old to me. Such a fossilized egg must be at least six billion years old. Besides, the sun has seen better days too. It's almost a red dwarf. Any rare resources, forms, creatures? We can't expect such detailed data, sir. Not from this distance. Yes, we would have to explore the surface. Astrogator, what exactly are we looking for? The value of this planet. For now, it may seem like the pinnacle of nonsense, but I assure you that Regis III is not without worth. With all due respect, Astrogator, I have the impression you're not telling us everything. As always, Dr. Koval, your instincts are correct. Please forgive my reticence. My goal was to maintain unimpeded research neutrality. There is indeed a very important factor of interest in this planet. The Alliance. The Alliance? The Alliance? Correct. What do they have to do with it? Well, they've sent their most powerful unit here. But to our best knowledge, Condor's traversing a distant quadrant. Well, I'm not talking about the Condor. So, the Invincible? Good guess, Doctor. A steel behemoth with the power to produce billions of kilowatts in a split second. Converting it into energy fields that no material body can penetrate. Concentrating it into destructive rays as hot as stars that can reduce a mountain range to dust or evaporate an ocean. Together with its crew of almost a hundred men. Professionals that are neither better nor worse than us. Well, I dare to say we're better trained, Astrogator. Uh, they are, however, unquestionable masters of propaganda. I know that some accomplishments they brag about are very much far-fetched, but the capabilities of the Invincible are not subject to doubt. And we as the scientific body should sever ourselves from the emotional and symbolic facade. In other words, we cannot ignore facts just because we don't like them, Mr. Cole. All right, but where do we stand in all this, together with our, may I say, not quite as numerous staff? Despite our modest forces, we still have a chance to gain a critical advantage over the Alliance while avoiding confrontation. Okay, uh, and how would we do that? Simple. We leave this planet before the Invincible arrives here. Which is when, exactly? Well, they're still far away. <laughs> Astrogator, please, how much time do we have to conduct safe research? Thirteen days. There's no time to lose, then. I appreciate your eagerness, Coval. Dr. Crowther, do we need full gear? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Also, I caution you against taking off your helmets for a prolonged duration. This amount of methane is not neutral. Breathing the local atmosphere will lead to saturation drop, and you may start showing symptoms of mild brain damage, feel stupefied. But uh, don't worry, not before an hour or even a couple of hours. I see. Dr. Gorski, will you program Artie to collect samples? Of course. Marit, Krauter, please prepare for the surface. Koval, you too. You're leaving early in the morning. And what about me? You're staying on board, Doctor. But Astrogator... Uh, this is not up for debate. I need you here. As you well know, there's not much work to do for a biologist on Regis Three, If any. Well, if I was ordered to stay, what the hell am I doing here? Oh, 
thank goodness. Not everyone's in the field. This is Dr. Yasna reporting. Do you copy? I'm entering the campgrounds. Is anyone out there? Oh, it's just an Androbot. Androbot! Stop! Androbot, stop! I'm reporting a robot malfunction. No response to voice commands. Cause unknown. Oh, maybe if I... RT? Default position. I don't know what's wrong with you, buddy, but you clearly don't want to cooperate. I've located Dr. Krauter. He's in bad shape. I'm gonna examine him now. Excuse me. Yasta, can you hear me? Astrogator. Finally. I've been listening to you for two hours now. My receiver is dead. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. I know everything. The transmitter was still working, so I heard your reports. Glad you didn't lose your head. Wait, please. I need to reconnect. <laughs> Testing. One, two, three. Ah, copy you, Doctor. Loud and clear, but to the point. As I understand it, there's only Dr. Crowther at the camp. And he's not well. What happened to him? Uh, I was just about to examine him. Dr. Crowther, please don't be startled. I need to take your hand. Temperature normal. Pulse 2. O2 saturation is fine. There's nothing physically wrong with the doctor. His pupils oh. respond properly. Look at my finger. No delay in reactions. Yet no response to verbal communication. None. The conclusions, Doctor. Do you have any idea what's wrong with him? Both mental illness and serious bodily injury could contribute to this condition. However, he wasn't suffering from any disorders. And there's nothing wrong with him physically. Epileptic seizure and chronic diseases can also be ruled out. So what? He's just fine? On the contrary. Something is very wrong with him, and I can't figure out what. Which is even more worrying. I'll prepare the infirmary. But first things first, the lander. We need to get you all on board. Everyone, not just Dr. Crowther. Couldn't we just evacuate him right away? If it were that easy, I would have sent the hopper long ago. Please look for the mission log. Should include crucial data about the crew's activities. We have three more people to find. And you still need to designate a place for the landing. Hello? A anyone else here? I found Dr. Crowther. It's 
not a mission log, but it will do. Dr. Crowter kept records. Meticulous as always. What's in there? Hmm. Dr. Gorski has moved away from the research sector to the west. Ah, that's right. He followed those deposits of metal. Metal? That's why we have detectors. Correct. Mine died, but Crowter had one as well, didn't he? Like everyone in the crew, Doctor. The most important thing is probably the landing coordinates. BA-2316. Noting. 316. Excellent. I'm uploading the data. Starting calibration. Are you looking for the detector? Yeah, just a sec. Got it. Please make sure it works. I don't understand why it wouldn't. It's a rather reliable piece of equipment. Like everything around, that's already broken. Okay. Checked. I'm leaving the tent. It's unresponsive. Yes, I know. I'm currently trying to establish connection. Can I help somehow? You must look for the others, Doctor. I'll take care of this myself. Get the tin head back on its feet remotely. And secure Crowther. I have everything I need. Just... Is something wrong with the connection, sir? It's not working. I'm not... You're gonna make them wait? Androbot isn't working properly. I can't just leave Crowther like this. He might hurt himself. Uh, fine. Proceed as you deem fit. Fascinating. Did you find anything, Doctor? Nice specimen. Oh, it's still alive. Ah, the fish Dr. Gorski caught. Do you remember? Yeah, I remember. Something. Dragonfly, come in. Uh, hello, Regis. Dragonfly here. Dr. Yasna at the radio. And Novik? Is his leg still bothering him? Yes. He's been resting in his quarters. We're setting up on a shoreline. It's late, but we still have time to examine the ocean floor. Uh, Gorski is preparing the probe for launch. We'll start research soon. Oh, and um, one more thing, Yasna. Yes? It's beautiful here. The ocean... Wind, sand. My suit is pinching and cramping just at the mere sight. <laughs> <laughs> Should I include this in my reports? I'm serious. I don't know about you, but over the years I've learned to hate the village. We do everything to go further, see more, take mankind one step closer to omnipotence, and then we can't even take a walk on land. As if Enjoying everything that's around us was almost a criminal act. I understand how you feel, Koval. After all these years, I miss home too. Is it that obvious? I come across as, well, erudite, but at the end of the day, it's simple longing that speaks through me. Well, a little obvious. We have to examine the composition of the ocean, but the... Collect the mineral samples. Yes, that's right. Do you want to do that? Koval, honest? where are you going? Been... Over. For a little, um... Probe in the water. Quick Switching to manual. I'm gonna take a look around. Distance. 100. A recce. More like a quick ciggy. 300. Am I hearing this correctly? Are you going to smoke, Bubba? Uh, no. No, not at all. I'm staying dutifully at my station. 500. <coughs> Am I seeing this right? Dr. Crowther, would you please have a look here? Of course. Just a second. It's like... a school of fish. This is... lovely. What are they doing? They're moving away from us. From us? We're talking about an artificial robotic gizmo. Right from the probe. As soon as I swim it closer to them, do you see what happens? 
It's hard to speak of normality here, but animals are usually not afraid of equipment or, or anything they haven't seen before. Are you saying they've already seen probes? I've no idea, but their behavior suggests some sort of defense mechanism. A catch at least one for examination. Then I'll be able to say more. Come here. One more time. Got it. What did you do? I had to electrocute it. Wouldn't have caught it otherwise. I'm taking a specimen ashore. That's a fine one. There'll be plenty to dissect, Yasna. <laughs> I've got bad news. Our signal is far too weak to restart that Androbot. A relay malfunction? Not exactly. It's completely fried. I don't think a sandstorm could cause such damage. Well, that's irrelevant now, Doctor. There must be a spare somewhere in the camp. Please search for it. <laughs> no luck. Oh, they're not in here. Have the extra relay. Excellent. The signal should be back as soon as it's turned on. anything I've ever seen. Is it gonna work? We'll see. I've rebooted the systems. That should help. Good, good. It's receiving instructions. Oof. I don't know if the Androbot should already be doing something. Is it still frozen? Yes. Unfortunately. Hmm. The positronic brain has correct readings. Receptors. Hmm. should be walking now. Does he? His positional data hasn't changed. <laughs> well, you can see that he really wants to go, but still can't. Uh, please check his legs. Hmm. Could be the server motor. Ah, that's it. Got you, Tim Bart. Uh, thank you, Doctor. I won't hold you any longer. Go find the others while I finish here. That's an order. Yes, sir. Found the area marked by Dr. Crowther. There's no one around. What do you think? Can we land the hopper safely here? I think so. Solid ground, a large flat area. 
We won't find a better place. Entry point? Will it be 50 meters? Air accessibility is paramount. Yes, it's relatively clean. You can send Hopper, sir. Huh. It looks like the rocks at the landing area. The, the ones drawn by Crowter. But the doctor marked a waypoint. I don't recall... It's, it's just a sketch. No markings. Well, if so, we should do it. What would you call them? <sighs> These rocks are white as bones. Bones, then. I'm writing that down. Me too. One more thing, Astrogator. The bones are, well, literally almost white. Unlike the environment around them. Yes, thank you. That's valuable information. Be useful in navigating. I seem to have gone too far. I can see the field markings that Dr. Gorski left behind, and I haven't found anyone yet. They all may have left the area as well. But before you move on, make sure to check the whole perimeter. As long as I'm here, let's see if I can spot someone in the distance. Mm, right. Anything interesting? Unfortunately, no. I'm going back. Yes, now, focus. What now? I'm entering the research area. Clear for now. Tracker? Silent. By the way, what did they find here? Oh, right. You don't remember. A piece of metal sticking out of the ground. Sounds inconspicuous, but in this desert environment, it's a phenomenon. The artifact turned out to be too... It's here. I can see the structure. I'm in the right place. Understood. Please continue. following the signal. Any progress? Uh, we dig as far as the terrain and out. It'll take a while. 
Regis, come in. Status report. Astrodator, sir. We dug up another three cubic meters. The object exhibits remarkable structural homogeneity. All spectroscopic analysis shows similar results. Steel with tungsten and nickel alloy? That's right, with the addition of other common metals. Is there any chance of retrieving the entire object for research purposes? No, none at all. Even sonar couldn't cover the entirety of it. Instead, Dr. Gorski calibrated the detector, so we had to look beneath the surface. And? What did you see there? Uh, more of the same. What protrudes above the ground is just the tip of the iceberg. We estimate it extends at least 50 meters underground. Uh, I see. Oh, uh, furthermore, it's not a single object. Down below, there is an entire root system. So vast that it's impossible to cover it all at once, either with a scanner or a detector. Have you followed its course? Dr. Gorski's doing just that. Gorski, are you scanning those roots? Affirmative. Uh, I'm headed westwards. Been going for a few hundred meters already. Still haven't reached the end of it. Sorry to interrupt, gentlemen, but I confirm my suspicions. This area has been tectonically inactive for a very long time, and the Aeolian activity is minimal. Therefore, the material that has settled on, or rather covered this metallic structure, it's very old, which means these structures are even older. And what are we talking about here? A few thousand years? Tens of thousands? Uh, I can't give a precise assessment, not yet. I'm asking for a rough estimate, Merritt. Uh, uh, well then, I guess it... It could be hundreds of thousands, if not millions of years old. Mm. Anything else? Yes. These structures almost certainly didn't form through natural processes. Almost? Well, they don't look like anything I've seen before. And you know I've seen a lot, Novick. Also, I can't find any scientific explanation for this form. Hmm. Could this be what the Alliance is here for? Oh, don't make me guess that. I really don't know. Uh, personally, I doubt it, Astrogator. The more research we do, the more convinced I am that it serves no purpose at all. It's even hard to imagine this could ever have any function. Regis, we're losing reception. Uh, still nothing. Uh, zero. Carvel, can you hear us? Over. It's a dormant. What is it? Merritt, we can't hear you. Damn it. What now, sir? We listen. Wait for the interference to pass. Uh, excuse me, but I don't think it will pass on its own. We need to take action. What do you suggest? board the second lander and fly to the surface. Yes, no, I can't let you go alone. My leg... Phew. It's finally stopped. Yeah. Are you there? I am. Unfortunately alone. Working equipment gave me hope, but someone just abandoned it. Didn't even turn it off. Section measurements. Here's a Merritt's notes. Oh, she must be somewhere close. Please search the entire area thoroughly.
I think I know where I can find her. Signals coming from a castle backpack. That's concerning. I'm close, but I can't see her. She's here. I found her. What's her condition? Marit. Ma Marit, wake up. Wake up. Do you hear me? Dr. Marrett? No. No vital functions. What's going I need on? two. One. Two. Three. Come on. Come on. One. Two. Nothing. Don't do this to me, Marrett. Don't. Please. Give me a minute. Of course. Everything will be fine. All fine. Covers next. Yes, I think so. You should be close. for a second, Doctor. What's his current state? Checking. Parameters normal, yet he's completely unresponsive. Koval? Koval! His eyes are so empty. Just like Crowter's. Koval! 
What the hell is wrong with you? Are all the symptoms the same as Dr. Crowder's? <sighs> he's calm. Calmer. Well, at least he's alive. Now listen to me, Asna. The lander is on its way, but before you get Dr. Cobble on board, I want you to do something. Yasna. I'm listening. Please look around for his journal. It's everywhere. In pieces. No, not good. Koval was in radio contact with Dr. Gorski. Taking notes. That's exactly why it's so important. These notes may help us find our man. I'll go over them. But it may take a while. Huh. Have you found it? No, it's, uh, nothing about Dr. Gorski. Ah, found them. Surprisingly accurate. He wrote down Gorski's every step. Great. Let's get Cobble to the evacuation area. Can you carry him, Doctor? <laughs> Won't be pretty hard in 1G. But the gravity here should make things a tad easier. Everything's falling apart here. I don't know. Maybe we're dealing with some kind of anomaly. An atmospheric or magnetic phenomenon. Uh, wouldn't something like that show on the chart? All those measurements Gorski took? I remember. Maybe he made a mistake. Gorski's left. He might have made it quite far. Agreed. Everything points to it. I don't know how long I'll be looking for him. It might take hours before I come back. We also don't know Gorski's condition, nor what he's going through. I'll go back for Marit's body first. Take her to the lander. But Yasna, Dr. Marit is already gone. What if we also lose Gorski? I've made up my mind, Astrogator. I can't leave her like this.
I should move. Oh, there's no time. <sighs> yes, sir. Come in. How are you feeling? How do you think, sir? I'm managing. Somehow. Forgive me, but I need to know if you're ready to continue your mission. <sighs> ready? Well... <sighs> I'm carrying her. Going forwards. I wonder why she's so light. The gravity... No, Astrogator. Not this time. served with Dr. Marit for over two decades. We made of sterner stuff. The sternest. Many of us relied on her. I did. Did you know that headquarters offered her a promotion? She would have been the first female astrogator in the history of the Commonwealth. I had no idea. Doesn't matter anymore, really. Not entirely. Marit will be awarded posthumously. I'm taking up at your word, Astrogator. This could pave the way for others. And that's what she would have cared about the most. No doubt about it. Please take good care of her. Of course. Dr. Gorsk is next. Let's hope he got out of danger in time. It would be good to know what kind of danger we're talking about. Well, nothing, really. At least not in the last five seconds, sir. Right. Thank you. I'm leaving the excavation site. <sighs> How did he come down? Signal. So soon? It's unlikely to be him. Then who? Uh, no. You were correct, sir. It's just our probe. It looks inactive. Can't be completely broken if you picked up a signal. I'd say it's running in safe mode. Please try to power it on. Do we have time for this? It's for a good reason, Doctor. The probe could prove useful in the search. And besides, you'll see. Okay, I'm opening the probe, turning the systems on. No, no, stop. Wait for my instructions. There's a button on the left side of the fuse box. Hold it, and then turn the dial again. Now go ahead. Slide records? Correct. I, I didn't know we had access to them. You couldn't have known. This is not standard procedure, but as they say, extremis malice, extrema remedia. Let's take a look. A photo of the first days on the surface. They started exploring the littoral zone almost immediately. 
They reported as much. Wasn't until the fourth day the comms failed. I recognize these structures. This is where they began to dig. Twelve hours passed. Three crew members are still there. Dr. Gorski must have left already. We lost contact shortly thereafter. The probe followed him, and he followed the detector's readings. Going after those metal structures. Yes, that's what I meant. What's next? Last slide. There's mostly noise. Nothing in particular stands out to you, Doctor. They were digging and suddenly, poof, people are dead. No need to shout, Astrogator. I'm just letting you know what I see. That's all. Uh, hang on. An absurdly high electromagnetic field reading. That's something. Sort of. What are the earlier readings? Checking. Still high in the slide just before. And earlier, quite normal. in a matter of seconds but there's there's nothing except dunes sand a few rocks a shadow shadow another sandstorm i guess all right doctor let's move on you may turn on the fuses now we'll take the probe with us If you run it on manual steering, sir, then, then it works just fine. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing. You have a keen eye. I'll put it in auto mode. From now on, it will follow you, Doctor. Oh, it'd be nice to have some company. Uh, I mean, apart from yours, sir. One second. Oh, that's odd. There's no data in the probe's memory. No ID, no nothing. Do you want to give it a new ID? Name it, basically. After all, it'll be with you for a while. So, what's it going to be? Huh. A name for the teleprobe. All right. I can think of something. Copy that. I'm listening. Please enter Luna. L. U. N. A. Done. Now, a few more tweaks, and you'll have a flying measurement center at your disposal. I don't see these metal structures anywhere. The only surface structure reported was from... The detector's measurement is very clear. I'm going straight on. Hey, Luna. the first point you guess we have to be sure doctor well i'm at the first clear branching of these structures such as reported by dr gorski all right what happened next he followed the branch to the right
the probe detected something. I see that in the readings. What is it exactly? Well, the structure from the notes, it fits the description perfectly. Well done, Luna. I knew I could count on you. Well, we didn't bring it to the surface for no reason. Even in the first stage procedure. And now I'm gonna apply for my own. As soon as you find Dr. Gorski, I'll see to it myself. All right, how about that point? What does it look like? What caught the doctor's attention? It looks sort of like scaffolding set up underground. Inside the ground, actually. Uh, an unusual structure shape? Definitely. Do you think someone actually built it? Well, that's a far-fetched theory, but it seems so. The next point, the third one, is a metal bundle running along the bottom of some water reservoir. Interesting. An object as such should be easy to locate. was mentioned in the note around the third point and i have a matching object here all right so how many are left two points or at least that's what he told Koval. what he did next it's hard to assess but the battery in the detector lasts for only a few hours so he couldn't have gone much further Definitely up here. Wow. I think I'll catch up with Dr. Gorski on the other side. Well, that wouldn't be such a bad scenario, right? Of course not. Though I wouldn't mind if we bumped into each other before the climb. I think we have the fourth point. Confirm. It's the fourth one. I see our flag.
This mission drags on so much. Sometimes I think you're going to take off without me, sir. <laughs> Don't count on it, Doctor. I'm not going anywhere. Structures undergo noticeable changes here. If it keeps growing at this rate, I don't know what I'll find at the end. What kind of growth are you talking about, Doctor? Depth, width, complexity level? In every aspect. Interesting. Do you think these rains lead somewhere? To something? I'm leaning more and more towards that conclusion. But I can't tell what we might expect at the end. If it ends at all. Ah. I've reached the top. Doctor discovered something new from here. Something he called bushes. Huh. I've heard that term before. In their conversations between Kovel and Gorski. No, Jasna. You're the one who reported it to me. Right after you landed. Seriously? Well, I... I... I don't see anything like it now, sir. Three, two, one. Wait. Down the parameters. The land is departing. Yes, they're on their way. Azimus 350. A distance 200 meters. Copy that. I'm sending the probe. Thank you for your assistance. What's the plan for the second flight? The same place? That would work best. It's certain, proven. When you and Dr. Gorski come back, I'll send the lander right away. See the bushes. And the doctor? Hmm, hard to tell. Visibility is poor. Huh. It's going to be harder than before. I don't know how the doctor. <sighs> when it comes to finding a safe route, there won't be a problem. But you'll have to get there on your own two feet. I suppose the probe will carry out the first task. It's capable, yes? Of course. I set the environment analysis mode. The probe will calculate the best route between your location and your destination. It'll guide you along the defined path. The calculations will only take a moment. Device this probe of ours. They could have fly for this long. Yes. Longer than you can stand on your feet. <sighs> Sounds like the perfect research unit. Maybe even better than a human. Well, let's not exaggerate. I don't know. For me, it's only a matter of time before machines surpass their creators. The only question is when. Oh, 
We have a problem. Something serious? Huh. Maybe it's true that machines will surpass us. But not today. The route determined by the algorithm goes over a chasm. I can repeat the command. No, no. I'll go around. Unfortunately, this is an outdated model. Such mistakes are inevitable. But the perception module itself has already been greatly improved. Its accuracy increases exponentially. Exponentially? <laughs> Can you imagine us, proteinaceous creatures, developing so quickly, sir? No. Not in the course of evolution. You can't perfect a person like that. That's right. You can't. We wait thousands of years for visible changes. Have you started to fear for your position? Well, everything indicates that the clear distinction between humans and robots will soon disappear. And then what? Well, if we assume that they'll surpass us, things will get complicated. Because in order to program a brain with computing power equal to that of a human, you need a brain with computing power higher than that of a human. Ergo, a man cannot make a machine smarter than a man. Then who else would design it? For self-learning algorithms? Some spontaneous process? Or pure chaos? Something inhuman. That's for sure. Shh. Astrogator. Can you hear that? Uh, what am I supposed to be hearing? That's the point. Nothing. Silence. We're talking about robots, and Dr. Gorski still hasn't spoken on the channel. Well, then, uh, he must be a long way from here. These bushes are kind of weird. You better stay away, Doctor. I'd like a brief description. Just keep a distance. Allow me to use a language I would use to describe living forms, sir. Of course. So they look like pituitary, brush-like formations. They can be singular, though in some locations they create a uniform thicket that covers the walls of the ravine in a rusty brush-like layer. They grow out of cracks in the bare rock. They're high, more or less, from one to several meters. That's how it looks, to put it briefly. Would you also venture to guess their significance? Some function, purpose? Staying on the topic of biological analogies, which in itself is already a major scientific distortion. Yes, yes, I understand. These are not real plants. But if they were plants, those protruding parts climbing up, they would serve to obtain energy, mainly solar. Astrogator, Gorski's not here. I'm afraid he continued to explore. And if he went where I think he did, he might have lost contact with the camp as well as Dragonfly. Possibly. Well, there's only one way to be certain. It's your decision, sir. Please continue your search. We have to find him. That's the unwritten rule, isn't it? Under no circumstances do we leave anyone behind. Oh, the line's breaking up, but I understood. I'll let you know, sir, when I come out of the tunnel.
that. All systems work. Altitude 5,000. Initial tech sent. A record data drop out, but otherwise still looking good. Entering 5,000. Landed. I repeat, Hopper has landed. Astrogator, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Any side effects? Landing wasn't too hard on you? All good. Spine still in one piece. No signs of overstrain. Not even shortness of breath. Perfect. Hopefully the hike to camp goes just as smoothly. going outside. Visibility? 100%. The dust has already settled. Huh. I've located the second lander. Our people are still on this planet. Ah, very good. I was afraid they might try to fly off, which wouldn't be the best idea given the loss of communication with Dragonfly. What about that lander, Yasna? You think our people try to fly away on it? I seriously doubt it. Looks like a bad malfunction to me. But I'm taking Hopper out of here. We can't afford to lose this lander too. We've gotten out of worse than this. Equipment breaks from time to time, that's normal. But now... Go ahead. What's bothering you? This lack of communication, it takes too long, especially considering there's a cyberneticist amongst them. Yes, it worries me too. How do you know? Are there any signs of the crew? I found a cigarette bud and a pack. Someone was smoking here. So, they didn't give a damn about the regulations. Disrupting the ecosystem. No, that's not the point. I understand you want to minimize the effects of our interference here, Doctor. But the mission's safety is at stake. I don't think I have to explain to you the dangers of igniting a dusty atmosphere. Preserving the integrity of Regis III's already extinct ecosystem is not a priority in this scenario. Negligible, actually. Security procedures exist. Excuse my interruption, sir. Can you please confirm that I'm on the correct route? Yes, I confirm. This rate will reach the camp within an hour. So, continue. We shouldn't place one about the other. What are you saying, Yasna? The mission and the safety of our people have the highest priority. Always. <laughs> Always? Are we really that self-righteous? Of course, Doctor. We must be the most important to ourselves. And they must be the most important to themselves. <sighs> this road may be faster, but it's not the easiest. Anyway... 
back to our conversation. In the end, the strongest will survive. Isn't that how evolution works? Not in a biological sense, Astrogator. Besides, I'm not convinced if we should interfere with everything alien to us just because we can. Doctor, interference is at the heart of human nature. Man would still be a monkey if he'd only looked at trees instead of cutting them down. Yes, we have a nasty nature. I can't wonder with that. structure. It looks like some spiky metal growths. Artificial plants? Is spontaneous growth possible with this type of structure? Oh, I've never seen anything like this. I wish I had time to run some tests. When the situation is stabilized, we will take samples. I promise. Oh. I feel nauseous. Suddenly... That's not it. I feel darkness. Over. I guess that's a no. Is everything all right? Yes, yes, all good. They're already in the infirmary on life support. You found them in time. Huh. Yes, maybe them. But Marit. You're too hard on yourself, Yasna, as usual. If I... Please stop. If it's a very cruel word, you don't deserve its torment. Guess I know where Gorska was going. Confirm. Gorski was here. His rope is still hanging from the slope. That's a good sign. Since he left it, he intends to come back this way. <sighs> Why hasn't he yet? <sighs> Going down after him. <sighs> Tell me one more thing. When it comes to Marit, are you going to use a grave tapper? Considering that as a possibility. Just that report. <sighs> One sec. How oh, about the end of the rope? Isn't that good? Not at all. What do you mean? <sighs> I'm stuck. I'm hanging with all my weight on the rope. Away from the wall. There's still a fair few meters left to the ground. <sighs> Can you go back? 
using just my hands, strapped with all this extra weight. No, not a chance. What if you swim? I can just jump off. Is that safe? A substantial fall on unsteady ground. This is hardly a maneuver that I would describe as safe. So let's take a moment to analyze the situation. I'm thinking if Gorski went down this way and didn't break anything. Yeah, we don't know that, Yasna. He could keep going even with injuries. Alright, so do you have another idea? Oh, will I be hanging like this until the end of time itself? There is a certain possibility, or rather uncertain, but maybe it's worth trying. I'm listening. Can you see the probe? Yes. It's flying near me. Good. If I instructed it to fly as close as possible to you, you could grab onto it. Are you sure it will hold me? That I cannot guarantee. All right, let's give it a try. I'm entering the instruction. You must guide me. Two meters forward. Stop, that's enough. You have a really good eye. Exactly two meters. Is the maneuver complete? You could say so. I fell from a lower height. It was a soft landing. But our last contact with Regis a few minutes after noon. Even then, Dr. Gorski was walking alone. Walking alone. Communications blew up shortly before he got here. He didn't take a tent. Anyway, what's the idea of doing it alone? I hope he has a good reason. Damn. This place is amazing. It's all made up of these structures. Except they don't look like creations of nature anymore. Maybe that's why Dr. Gorski, not to mention the Alliance. Well, if we're looking for something on this planet, this could be it. These structures form entire multi-story complexes. They look like a city. Are you saying that... No, no. There's no point in jumping to conclusions yet. <sighs> Left or right... The height of the entire complex is over 100 meters, even 150. And all made of this metal? To a significant degree. Dr. Gorski set up the flags. Sir, he kept going, despite the lack of communication with the rest. You'd have to see it with your own eyes, sir. This place. Gorski may have lost himself in his discovery. Are you receiving a signal? What signal? From Dr. Gorski. No, no. Why are you asking? He tried to open up a connection. Set up a transmitter. No, there's nothing on the comms. But I'll check the record history. Please give me a moment. see the bottom the structures go that deep yes I dread to think have you chosen where to go I'm still wondering there's no time to hesitate doctor we need to take decisive action what if dr. Gorski fell down there 
I took that into account when calibrating the probe. It will examine the bottom. I'll let... Is something were to live here? Yes. It would have to be very small. Like insects. On the other hand, there's no floor around to support such organisms. All right. I'll squeeze through the passage. <sighs> Two more hours. Huh? That's all Gorski has left of oxygen, at best. And at worst? He's just finishing it up. Though it all depends on his activity. If I remember correctly, there is a risk of methane poisoning. That's right. According to Dr. Kratz, a negative symptom is going to appear after an hour. Maybe after a few hours. I think you'll find Gorski by then. Let's hope so. These constructions don't have a clear division into functions. They're huge, complicated, and uniform at the same time. Do you have any idea where all this could have come from? I'm aware without tests you can't do much. But let's say on first inspection. If metamorphism and other natural factors are to be excluded, there is only one conclusion. Someone or something must have put them here. But who? The Alliance? Because you don't need to say... Oh, I do. I suspect the surface of Regis Three was once inhabited. Um, I can't tell if any of this could be part of a machine. Really wish we found Gorski already. I see the probe. Has it found anything? It's not making any measurements at the moment. Oh, why? The overload protection is activated. Until I do a reset, it's on manual control. Mm. Oh, is it because of my flight? It's possible, but please don't worry about it. What matters is that you're fine. Wouldn't it be better if I helped you? I can close it manually, after all. I'd need some directions first. I'd to bring it to you. No problem. I'm on it. First, let's find a place where I can land it. Otherwise, you won't be able to help me, Doctor. There. I found the right place. All right, then. I'm waiting for instructions. Let's see. Five meters forward. No, no. Pull back. Doctor. <laughs> it's not as easy as it looks. Please rotate the probe 40 degrees to the left. Seven meters forward. So, 45 degrees to the left, and full steam ahead. Stop. Now, rotate 45 degrees to the right. Uh, two meters forward. Land! Are they still everywhere? Yep. 
Wherever I look, there's metal. Oh, don't be angry. It's not anger. It's a warning sign. I know, I know. You're welcome, Luna. It's a bit like Pando. What? I have no idea what you're talking about, Doctor. A, a colony of populous tremoloids. American Aspen. The new trees grow not from seeds, but from root suckers of old trees. As a result, it's one giant organism, thousands of years old. So you're in a dead metal forest. Huh, that does sound bizarre. So maybe. Doctor, something has been recorded on trauma. But there are plenty of errors in the transmission area. It's hard to say whether this is a message from Gorski. Well then, sir. Play it. Maybe we'll finally find out what's going on with the doctor. Let's hope so. Gorski to base. It's him. Well, let's keep listening. But as soon as you report anything, Doctor, I'll stop the recording. No confirmation again? I report. I've made an amazing discovery. Geometric structures that a thicket of bushy pointed rods and slats. Mostly iron, but not only. Molybdenum, carbon, tungsten. Altogether similar to a giant integrated circuit. A million swarm of tangled cables. Not... I can see the relay up close. Looks broken. Such damage could be caused by a local meteorological phenomenon. A severe thunderstorm with lethal and electrometeors. So... The weather is to blame for all of this. Well, I can't think of a better explanation at the moment. Maybe let's go back to the recording. Maybe once upon a time, centuries ago, petawatts or exawatts of power flowed this way. You know, to compare with something, it's, it's probably a machine. Some kind of information collective structure. Maybe it was some kind of electronic brain. It makes me think of the Lyrans. A race of extinct sentient beings. Supposedly, they knew about light astrogation before we invented the wheel. They had to save themselves from the explosion of Nova. They sent ships. The remains of the remains of those ships have been found, ash to a chip glued together. I've seen hypothetical schematics. The structures here remind me of those. Okay. Moving on. Reading us. Well, that's it. What follows is just a humming noise. Any thoughts, Doctor? So far, it all leads to one conclusion. This is not a place for a man. Nor for any humanoids. Then, who is it for? Maybe it's really an alien technology. Those Lyrans. Uh, as far as I know, all information about the Lyran civilization is just guesswork. Many consider Lyrans to be just a myth, so I wouldn't take it too seriously. Well, I think there might be something to it. There are more traces, this time handprints, and a drop detector. What? Did I hear you right? Yes, sir. You heard correctly. I'm afraid we must be ready for any eventuality. Well, that doesn't mean we should assume the worst. I still believe you'll find him, Doctor. No one of sound mind would decide to go down this way. And yet Gorski... I, 
I found something. Again. I'm listening. Uh, more of the same stuff. Gorski's things. More traces. Fine. Actions devoid of logic. Back in the camp, you reported Marit's abandoned things. A backpack and a journal, yes. Uh, this scene looks disturbingly similar. What is it? I took a shortcut. On purpose? Uh, not really. Feel really heavy. Give yourself a moment to rest, Doctor. You certainly deserve it. Finally! I have his position. Okay. Not yet. Gorski, are you here? It's me, Yasna. Still nothing? Yeah. I found his backpack. You know what that means, sir? Yes, he's without oxygen. We must hurry. Oh, there he is. I see him. He's lying in a sinkhole. Doctor, answer me, please. Almost there. Moving. Gorski, Gorski, look at me. His eyes are closed. Is he breathing? He's alive, but barely. Did he react in any way? No reaction. He seems unconscious. Gorski! Come on! Calm down, Doctor. Get him out of there. The probe's already looking for a man. <sighs> okay. Let me just... Uh, I'm... I'm pulling him... Uh, out. <sighs> Done. He's out. <sighs> I activated his SOS. You should pick up a transmission with his parameters, sir. Well? No, nothing. The transmitter in the suit must be too weak. Should I retrieve his booster from the backpack? No, no point. Better to set up a relay. We have to do it anyway, so we don't have to collapse in this maze. Have a preliminary scan of your surroundings. There's an open area nearby. You have to move Gorski there. The probe will guide you. But he's not stable. I must share my oxygen with him, Astrogator. You need a spare for that. The protocol doesn't provide for connecting two suits at the same time. I admit, I'd rather not give him mine. 
Nobody expects that. On the contrary, but not allowed. The membrane looks intact. What did you say? I didn't hear. In the lander, my friend. I'll hook you up in the lander. I still can't believe it, Doctor. It's nothing, Astrogator. Only static. Of. Yes. Once you set up the transmitter, I should stop it. There it is. Pulse, heart rate, saturation, almost within the range. Now, mark the place for the lander, and we're home, Doctor. I'm on it. What's that? Astrogator, I, I, I'm underground. It's hard to determine my exact location. Novik, do you copy? Mm -hmm. Please come in. I'm sending an SOS. Anyone, please. Okay. Stay calm. Just keep it together. Heartbeats racing. But saturation hasn't dropped below the tissue norm. Not yet, at least. of water, probably unsafe for consumption. I'd rather not risk it. Oh, shit! Let's hope it's not fossil. <sighs> Slippery terrain. 
poor visibility. Considering all factors, situation hopeless. At least I got flat. Oh, come on. Gotta be kidding me. my considered opinion. Fucked. Novik? If the radio is still receiving, far underground. I need to write fast. I hear you. But you don't. Apparently. Oh, bollocks. I think I prefer it the other way around. Okay. I'm coming to you, Astrogator.
I can't stop. Did you really say that? I think I'm starting to freak out. I've had enough. Just enough. Okay, forward. Faster. We're racing against time, Yasna. We're fighting for our lives. Enough of this nonsense. I can't keep fighting. Your timing is perfect, as usual. Any more advice? Huh, I thought so. You know, I did what I could, but it still wasn't enough. I have the right to finally give up. No. Not yet. I will not give up. I'll just... Take a breather. Huh? What? You wouldn't let me die in peace. I can handle. I will not give up. I did it. I did it, Astrogator. Too bad you can't hear me. I don't believe my eyes. Huh. Bones of some prehistoric reptile. And coal deposits, I assume. Huh. Finally, we have proof. <laughs> there was life on the surface of Regis III. Millions of years ago. But for some reason, now there's nothing. Not even bacteria or, or viruses. Gorski mentioned that Lyra's Zeta was Nova. And yet, we've ruled out hard radiation. Anyway, over these millions of years, evolution would move forwards again. However, someone or something is preventing life from moving ashore. You never seem to get tired, Novik. Hmm. I hear you more and more. Oh, does that mean I'm close? Even more fossils. And without comms. No one will even know about this discovery if I'm stuck here. Unless HQ sends another expedition. And they will find those bones along with mine. <sighs> no. 
havoc. Do I really hear you? Or is my mind playing tricks on me? I don't know. Me too. What if something's waiting out there for me? Something that caused my fall. No. Don't hesitate. I will die if I stay here. A way out. Astrogator. I'm close. Damn it. I was sure he would hear me this time. I... I'm here. Over. Find me! Yasna! You can't even imagine! It's really good to hear your voice again, Doctor. Sir... I've heard you all the way. Yasna, are you coming? What? Uh, I don't quite understand myself. All right. Let's leave them for now. Are you injured in any way? Uh, no. Machine. It burned a hole in the wall. <laughs> and I was watching those kind of crab legs. <laughs> you must evacuate immediately. It sounds like you know what it is, sir. No, I have my suspicions. One of the flagship machines of the Alliance would match the description. Walking antimatter cannon. I think it's moving away from me. Excellent. Don't stop yet, though. The greater the distance between you and this machine, the better. How is it possible that the Alliance machine got here before us? I'd like to know myself. Our intel's incorrect, and if this were already landed on Regis 3, they would have a huge advantage over us. So why would they confront our ship head on? <laughs> Instead, they waste time on some shady diversion. Exactly. Makes no sense from a strategic point of view. I think they're looking for something here. Uh, I wouldn't be so sure. If the Alliance had been searching the area, they wouldn't have sent a lone anti man to do it. It's not a machine you let loose. <laughs>
explode alien planets back when I pretended to 